Well, hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I ain't been on here in a minute, but anyway, how y'all doing? I hope everybody is well on this beautiful Friday uh, evening. Yeah, because I'm looking like, oh my God, here in Ohio, the wind and stuff picked up. It feels really nice outside because it's been freaking hot as hell <laughs> here lately. Um, we've been having like between 98 to 101 degree weather. The past, like, week and a half. It's been crazy, crazy. Okay? But, I am here. I just want to talk about just mean-spirited human beings. Okay? Mean-spirited human beings. Impatient human beings. And I think, like, impatient human beings are... They can be some of the worst people out here. That's when it comes to driving... Um, waiting in line, you know, shopping. Um, people are so rude and nasty out here, and people get mad at the stupidest reasons out here. That's why we have to be vigilant. We have to be careful. I know y'all been, I don't care what city you live in, there's been so many road rage killings out here lately. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, there was a lady, um, Several months ago, I believe March or April of this year, um, she was driving, just minding her business. And I guess the man in front of her was driving. You know, somebody driving really slow, you just kind of go around them because you don't know what's going on. You just drive, you know, you, you driving, you know, the speed limit is 35 miles an hour and you're doing 12. You know what I'm saying? You're doing 12, 15 miles an hour. It's like, you know, I got to, you know, I got to be at work or, you know, get my kids out of school or whatnot or whatever. So this woman, she went around this man. I mean, didn't cut him off, whatever. She just went around him, and he shot at her. It missed her by, like, like this, okay? Because he was impatient. He had the nerves to go and throw his weapon into a creek. And they played her 911 tape on the news, and they, I'm glad they went and got the guy. Yeah, they, went, they found him. They found the weapon. And they went and got him. Yeah. Because he was just angry. He had a, a weapon in his car. He just wanted to use it for any given freaking reason. I've said that before on my channel. That people have weapons. They say they use it for protection. But protection from whom? Okay, I understand. Okay. You in your home. Somebody trying to break into your home. Somebody trying to carjack you. Or especially women, we're walking by ourselves and some dude try to approach you and you don't you don't know who this man is or what he trying to do to you, you know. But school violence, because schools already start back soon. School already started back in some some cities and states. School already started back, so you are protecting yourself against with a whole bunch of kindergarten first graders, an old lady walking to a car because she was shopping for her grandkids. A young mother picking up her kids out of, out of school. That's who you're protecting yourself from. I mean, people get these weapons. And they use these weapons because they just have one. That's all. They just have a weapon and they want to use it. Just mean-spirited human beings. They have to have, find, like, a, a, a justifiable, stupid reason to use a weapon. And it's so disturbing, y'all. Like I said before, I work in criminal justice system. And the, the things that I see... I don't even want to get on here and talk about because it's it's the stuff that make you want to come home and drink a fifth of something. You hear me? But, you know, doing my job for 28 years of my life, the stories is, is, is I can get on here and do a whole three or four hour video about the things that I've experienced in 28 years, you know? So, my thing is, be patient, people. Please be patient with each other. This road rage crap got out of hand. Um, uh, there was a road rage incident. I forget what state this was in, but the, the, the food and killed the child that was sitting in the back seat. I think a, a, like he was like a six-year-old little boy. Was that last year, year before last? Beautiful little boy. You know, shot and killed the little boy because you mad because the, you, you felt you was disrespected or cut off by the woman that was driving that vehicle. This stuff is sick. Road rage is sick. Y'all protecting yourselves against, I can see if somebody get out their car and come at you with a weapon, you know, or something like that. But you're going to sit up here and just just shooting at cars, shooting at people because you feel you get cut off. Just blow your horn. 
Hell, better give him, give him the finger, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes even give somebody the finger, they would have followed your ass and, and, and put a gun on you then. And people are sick out here. They're sick, very sick out here. Okay? And me and my husband was talking about uh, people at the grocery store. You know, they get so impatient in these lines. He said he was at the B&V, because, you know, you know, every year you got to get your tags renewed or whatnot. He said he's at the B&V, and he said that it was a man there, and he I, he thinks he's just the only person in the world that need, uh, you know, their tags renewed. He came in there, and he took a, you know, you take a number or whatnot, and he he just thought that the, the workers were, like, skipping over him. And they was like, well, you know, everybody have a number. When we call your number, do you come on up? So he got pissed and left, and then they called his number when he left. So he screwed himself over. You wasted your own time because he was impatient. My husband said he was saying all these choice words and cussing and, and just going back and forth. They kept trying to tell the man, sit down, sir. You know, we, we'll call your number. But these people was here before you. So people are just so impatient. You know, the world doesn't stop because Jane Doe or John Doe walked into the room. Okay? The world don't stop because you walked into the room. You know, people was working before you walked up in here. I was working before you walked up on me. Let me finish what I'm doing first. Let me take care of, you know, him or her first. Then I'm going I'm, I'm to holler at you. I can't sit up here. They, they was here before you. But now, since you came in, in the room, I put to stop everything I'm doing. The world put to shut down and focus on you. The world don't work like that, boo-boo. It does not. So cut it all the way out. Okay? The world doesn't revolve around you. If you die today, the world will still go on, boo-boo. It'll still go on. Quit thinking the world revolves around you and your, 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 your jacked up thoughts and your jacked up heart. And some people, like I always tell my daughter, some people have horrible personal lives. Horrible. So, of course, they're going to come somewhere and take it out on you. You, you, you the worker or... You're the innocent bystander. You're the standing in line like everybody else. They're going to take it out on you. What you looking at? Fuck all y'all. They're going to take it out on you. Because their personal life is in is, is such disarray. They're going to get mad at you and take it out on you. Trust what I say. I had some, um, I had old, old bosses that retired or some of them died or whatever. And I always say it, when they come to work and, 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 and you know, micromanage, whatever, I said, there's something wrong with their personal lives. And I was always right. When they come to work and they nitpick, nitpick, nitpick at the same people, I was like, there's something going on in their personal life that's just not right. And kind of find out it was a lot of things in their personal life that was not right. So the workplace, for real, people bring their problems to the workplace, which I just, I don't, I don't deal with that kind of stuff. Things I've been through in life, you would never, ever think. You may think, Denise don't go through nothing. Denise always so happy-go-lucky. I would never. You would If I had a bad day, you would never know it. You would never know if I had a bad day. Never. Because I don't take it out on nobody. I'm the kind of person, if I'm feeling bad or having a bad day, I keep it in here. Or I can call my bestie or whatever, me and her, we can just talk it out. And after so long, we talking it out. We laughing it out. Like, ah, ha, ha, this motherfucker's crazy. Like, ah, ha. We laugh it out, and then we keep it moving. But I would never take a bad day out on anybody for any given reason. Okay? You know, I've been through surgeries. I've been through, I've mentioned before, multiple times on my, on my channel, I've been through breast cancer. A lot of people didn't even know I've been through breast cancer because I just went through it seamlessly and quietly. I, 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 when not got chemo, went to work. Come to work, leave early, go get my radiation, show back up at work the very next day. People never knew. They never knew. Because I, I, I didn't complain. I just did what the hell I had to do to get through it. Okay? So, that's how it is with me. Mm -mm, you would never know I'm having a bad day. Okay? So, quit taking your life problems out on people. Okay? Didn't Bobby Ferris say that? Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> did he say that back in what was that, 88? Don't worry. Be happy. Okay? Quit gun toting. And, 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 and shooting that innocent human beings over dumb ish. Stop it. Okay? Life's too precious. Taking precious lives and put people up in the hospital for stupid stuff. 
Come on, people. Cut it out. Anyway, that was all. That was it on this beautiful Friday. I just got off work. I'm home. I'm about ready to chill out for the evening, for the whole weekend. But I hope you guys take care. Lay low. Stay out of the way. Okay? Don't let that thing get you down. Okay? Look in the mirror. Thank God for what you have. And also thank God for what you don't have. Okay? <laughs> all right? Y'all be careful. Be safe. Deuces. Until next time. Oh.